let's take a look at some vocabulary that we are going to see in this excerpt from Bobby Kalman's Life Cycle of a Frog. Life Cycle, the series of stages through which a living thing passes from the beginning of its life until its death. Tadpole, a small creature that becomes an adult frog or toad that has a round body and a long tail and that lives in the water. Metamorphosis, a major change in the form or structure of some animals or insects that happens as the animal or insect becomes an adult. Lifespan, the amount of time that a person or animal actually lives. Hatches, to come out of an egg, to be born by coming out of an egg. And there's some visuals here for you as well, and you will find this in your notebook to review. As we do our read aloud today, I want you to think about what are some of the techniques Bobby Kalman uses to define words in his writing. Now that we've reviewed our vocabulary from yesterday, let's take a look at what we read last time. We saw the first part of our frog eggs and they became tadpoles. Now we're gonna take a look at when they grow legs, growing legs. Most of the nutrients a tadpole needs are stored in its tail. It eats plants almost nonstop and grows quickly. As it grows and changes, the tadpole may even begin eating dead bugs. Within a few weeks, the tadpole's body, head, and tail are much longer than they were when the tadpole hatched. The tadpole above will soon form a neck between its head and body. Growing legs. By the time a tadpole is nine weeks old, its body goes through even bigger changes. It sprouts hind legs, one on either side of its tail. Soon after that, it begins growing front legs where its gills used to be. As its legs grow, its tail begins to shrink. The tail actually disappears into the tadpole's body. As the tail gets shorter and shorter, the tadpole begins using its back legs and webbed hind feet for swimming. The skin between the frog's toes allows the feet to act as paddles. The tadpole is now starting to look like a tiny frog. Little froglets. By the time a tadpole is three months old, its tail is almost gone. It's only, it is only a small stub. The tadpole's skin looks and feels like that of an actual frog. In fact, the tadpole looks like a miniature version of its parents. It is called a froglet. Out of the water. With its new legs, a froglet can crawl out of the pond. It spends some time on land looking for food. When it was a tadpole, it used its tiny teeth to grab food. But as a froglet, it has a long sticky tongue for catching insects. We can see in this picture here, there's a froglet and our caption reads, this froglet is now a carnivore. We know what that word means. It will only eat live, it will eat only live insects and other prey for the rest of its life. And we can see that those are bold words down there too, so we can probably look those up in the glossary if we need it. All grown up. A froglet becomes a frog when its tail is completely gone. This change can take a few days or weeks. At this time, its skin colors and markings are fully developed. The adult frog can camouflage itself by controlling the shade of its skin. It can stay warm by making its skin color darker and cool by making its skin a lighter shade. An adult leopard frog skin gets lighter or darker to blend in with its surroundings. Hmm, what kind of adaptation is that? Right, camouflage. The red-eyed tree frog hides its bright legs and toes by folding them under itself. The frog on the left is an eared tree frog that lives in Borneo in Southeast Asia. The cycle continues. Frogs mate or make babies in the spring. When a male frog is ready to mate, he heads for a pond, swamp, or even a puddle. Hundreds or thousands of other males join him. They wait for female frogs to arrive at the breeding site. Frogs often breed in a pond that has calm water. They avoid ponds with a lot of fish because several types of fish eat small frogs and frog eggs, which we saw in our previous read aloud. That's why they lay sometimes up to 4,000 eggs. Awesome job today, scientist.